Hey guys, what's up? How's everyone's day going? This is Cole, and as you can see in the title, I'm gonna tell you exactly how I got into CMC, Claremont McKenna College. Before I get started, I wanna give you guys, you know, like a little context about myself. So I am an international student from Shanghai. I went to a very competitive high school called Shanghai High School International, SHSID. And let me tell you, when I was in that school, I was not a good student. I was really rebellious. I was a troublemaker. There was a period of time I would just go to the director's office like every single week to fight with her about like something. There's always something to fight with her about. Oh my god, I remember. Anyways, my high school, a lot of people went to Ivy Leagues. I was not like a top tier student at all. So when I was trying to EDCMC, a lot of my counselors were telling me not to because they're telling me I wouldn't get it. But look at me now. I got the flag! I'm living in senior apartment. So if you want to apply for CMC and you feel like you're not good enough, I swear CMC is not only looking for grades, they're looking for you as a person. So definitely do not let anyone discourage you from doing what you want. And it's not just for CMC too, like it's for everything, you know? Like you know your shit, you know who you are. So go get it, girl. I was also fortunately the first one in my high school to ever get into CMC. So I feel like I do have some tips for you guys. So this video, I'm going to cover some of my stats, my grades, my essays, as well as my activity list. I'm pulling out my common app right now. I haven't looked at this shit for two years. I'm like a freshman right now, but I took a gap year during COVID. So I will be looking at this kind of the first time as well in a long ass time. So Oof. Let's take a look at our grades first. Oh lord, it's really bad. Okay, so my ranking is only top 60%. <laughs> I'm like below average. And my GPA is like 3.724 out of 4. For my SAT, I think I got 1460. I remember I was reaching for like a 1500, but no matter how much I study, I just... I can't do it. It's not for me. I did one subject test, which is math level two. I got 770. For my AP exams, uh, I got a five in psychology, microeconomics, and Chinese language and culture. I'm native in Chinese, so I kind of finesse that part. But I feel like if you're native in a language and there's an AP test, go for it. You know, it's like another fucking vibe. Like, why not? My TOEFL is 111. I would say as long as you get above like a 110, then you're good. It's really easy. Let's move on to the activity list. I applied to CMC as an intended major for psychology. I just listed down all of the activities that I've done. Just anything that you can think about, write it down. And then try to select the ones that kind of like pair up together. Let's say like if you're like a biology major and everything you did was like non-biology related, then that's not going to like match up with what you're are like looking for right and admission officers can see that when they look at your profile they're not just looking for like how competitive you are they're also looking to see if you're real so if you're applying for psychology major put some psychology stuff in there so for me i did psych club leader heart to heart organization partnership student union leader department and class president i did a personal blog on like psychoanalysis so for internships and jobs i was a better worker than student i like doing a lot of things outside of school so i was like a talent manager for foreign artists in millennium china which is like a dance company in Hollywood. And I also did Gusto Marketing and Operations Intern. I did two online courses, one from UPenn, one from U Edinburgh about psychology and philosophy. If you are lacking activities or you feel like a lot of them are not really matching up with the personality that you're trying to convey, I highly, highly, highly recommend you to go to your like Coursera or like some other online course sites to take a class and get the certificate. This reflects your quality that you're willing to learn other than your school. You know what I mean? I was also a competitor and event planner for dance. Another thing I want you to know is that if you have a lot of activities that you want to add in, but there's only like 10 spots, then you can like combine some of them together. What I want you to take away from my activity list is that everything is more like consistent or like coherent. I was a dancer. I competed. I also planned events for dance. I also like work for a dance company. So it makes sense why I'll work there. And for example, if I'm into psychology, then I'll do like a psychology course course, psychology club, psychology partnership with heart to heart, and also like a personal blog. So all of these are like within the same realm. I did like a personal blog just because I wanted to differentiate myself from all the other applicants. My grades are not that competitive, so I needed to compete in somewhere else, make myself stand out in some other ways. For the personal essay, it's called a personal essay for a reason. It's too personal for y'all. So I basically talked about psychology as well. I talked about what happened to me as a 
kid that made me become more aware of people's emotions and because of that I got into psychology at the end I kind of talked about what I did to help like mental health in general basically my entire structure for my personal essay is just being aware of a problem understanding it and then solving it for your personal essay like really want this to be like a really good piece of writing but then at the end I kind of just realized as long as you have like a good story you don't have to be the most creative writer you don't have to be like the most insane story as long as you can find like one point that can touch people and relate to other people then you're good if your admission officer can relate to your personal writing you're good all right guys now let's move on to the school essays the supplemental essays so cmc has two essays why cmc and what is intellectual courage for my year but let's start with the why cmc first and i feel like this is not only like for cmc you can use whatever advice that i'm giving you into like other college why essays because they're pretty important if you want to read the whole thing you can pause the video and read it but i'm gonna tell you guys like a few tips that i learned okay first do not not generalize don't say oh cmc has a really amazing academic program it has one of the top tier like communities like that doesn't tell me anything you know you're just using fancy words at this moment go really really specific on stuff but of course that comes with a lot of research for like professors you can also research them go on their resume and check what research they're doing or like the research that they have done before or what book they've written put that in your supplemental essay you can say oh i would love to join professor blah blah blah's lab or course about like positive psychology or ai design you can also say oh i already emailed professor blah 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 about this issue and i can't wait to talk to him in real life when i'm on campus another point is definitely go on to like youtube or talk to the people that are actually from that school to tell you why they love about it because like for at least like liberal arts colleges every college is very different and they have a really distinct personality to it so when i was doing this i contacted a lot of my friends from CMC and they told me exactly what like what is so special about it and I just put that in like my essay as well for the second essay it's about intellectual courage I linked this back to psychology and what I wanted to do if you have any creative prompts like this just write whatever you want don't do it because you think the admission officers are gonna like it just be genuine because they can tell it when you bullshit, you know? So don't bullshit and you'll be good. Okay, last but not least, I uploaded a resume just because when I look at it right now, it's pretty shit. But at that time, you know, when I was like 17, I really liked this design. Now that I think about it, this resume is like so unprofessional. Usually a resume should be only one page. Like looking at this right now, I'm like, damn, Nicole, what the fuck were you doing? Um, If you guys want like a better resume okay let me pull it up for you guys this one i'm actually proud of okay work experiences and leadership research education language and soft skills all in one page so if you want this right now take it from me i want you to have it right now okay oh one more thing i want to mention before this video ends is linkedin cmc loves like career focused people all right so definitely add your LinkedIn to the profile if you are applying for CMC. Well, cause CMC is a very like career focused school. Everyone I meet here, and this is true, everyone I meet here are very interesting people that like, they're not basic and they're very career focused. Like most of them are really ambitious. So if you fit those personalities, don't worry about getting in or not. Like if CMC chooses you, that means you're gonna do great in the school. If CMC doesn't choose you, it doesn't mean that you're not like a good student. It just means you're not a good fit for the school. And that applies to every other competitive school as well. They're not gonna choose you unless they know that you're gonna be happy and you're gonna fit into the school. I was really lucky because I wasn't a good student, but I think CMC knew that I would be a good fit, like personality wise. So that's why they chose me and I'm very grateful for that. There's there's also a really important factor that got me into CMC, which is the admission officers. Long story short, I started emailing the admission officers starting junior summer. When she came to visit Shanghai, I did everything I can to talk to her. And I mean everything. Like I snuck into a cocktail party to talk to her. <laughs> if you guys want to know more about that, I can make another video. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys. Bye!